so guys in this video we are going to talk is about the move instruction and two types of the move instruction of course there are so many types but we will be discussing about the uh, two uh, types that is move zx and move sx first let me discuss the move instruction so this move instruction requires uh, two operands uh, one may be the register or the memory and second one is uh, let's say immediate value or any register and the left side is the source and sorry this right side operand is the source and the left side operand is destination so what we are going to do is uh, we are taking the value in the source and replacing it in the uh, destination uh, register uh, this move instruction copies the value of this 12 into this EVX, regist EVX register so if you want to copy the contents of ebx register you can say ebx so you can copy to and fro from register and to memory but you cannot uh, copy from memory to memory so what i mean is you can uh, copy some contents uh, located at the at this address into the ex register but you cannot copy contents of the register into this address sorry you can copy but you cannot copy from one address to another address so only that case is a failure so in this example we are going to see move ex comma 12 so the ex is a uh, 32 bit length so the 12 will be uh, placed in the 32 bits so first let's uh, step over So you can see the EAX uh, value is different. Now we are going to step over this instruction. Now after this instruction has been executed, you can see the value of C which is 12 uh, in decimal and C in hexadecimal in the EAX register. Okay, let me stop this. So this move instruction worked like this. Uh, I hope you have understood this move instruction. Now uh, there is a problem with this. Whenever uh, you are uh, copying negative value into the uh, lower register let's say ax so lower uh, registers uh, then the total value gets changed so let me show you now i'm copying the uh, ax value sorry minus 12 value into ax register so let's build the solution and let's uh, step over it so now we can see uh, ax uh, register value now if i step over this you can get this uh, exact value so now let's uh, say ax register right click on this hexadecimal display so you can see the upper higher bits uh, did not uh, modify because uh, if you take this value and if you compute into the integer you will not get the minus 12 value you should be ff 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 f4 so that should be the value of the minus 12 so that in this case the higher order bits are not filled with f's uh, because uh, we are moving the lower bits uh, that means uh, this is uh, occupies only one byte and we are moving into the 16 bits so whenever you are moving or copying the lower uh, less memory bits into the higher memory bits uh, there will be some gap so that gap should be filled with f's so that case you can use the uh, move sx instruction so what this does is it will fill the uh, remaining higher order bits f's for you so move sx ax comma minus 12 okay let's go and build the solution okay this uh, requires only the register so let's uh, say move ebx comma minus 12 so this uh, move sx instruction takes only uh, copies from to and fro from registers it cannot have the immediate value so now ebx contains minus 12 and what we are going to do is uh, we are going to copy uh, that bx contains minus 12 into this eax register so now we need to build the solution so now uh, step over 
so you can see first uh, instruction is going to be executed let's click on step over you can have autos evx contains uh, full fffff4 because we are moving the 32 bit copy so now we are moving with this sx which stands for sign extension move sign extend ex comma bx so e bx contains this uh, fff4 then if you want to copy into the ex then higher order bits will be filled with f's so now let's step over and you can see ff f f f4 so in the previous case when we are using only the move instruction we did not get the uh, f's in the higher order bits you can see it's still the address 0x 1 to 08 something and then we got the f4 so this is the uh, advantage of this move sx instruction uh, if you do not want to move uh, use this move sx instruction and if you want to uh, use the move instruction then you need to fill the ex with all f's Uh, that means 8 f's so then you can copy this negative value so this is the uh, problem with the negative numbers copy so you can just uh, use this move sx instruction and it will fill the higher order bits with the uh, f's so in the same case move zx that is the zero extension so if you want to fill the higher order bits zero then you can automatically use this uh, move zx instruction so this will perform similarly like sx instead of fs it will put the zeros so let's play the solution and then uh, let's step over now let's step over first instruction and evx contains c okay now ex uh, contains this value Zero zero six f f d nine zero. Then after copying e b x c, then this six f f d nine gets replaced by zeros. Let's step over, and you can see zeros. If you just normally copy, then these will not be zeros will not come here, and the previous value will be there. So that is the advantage of this move zx instruction. So. one thing to remind is if you want to copy a positive integer into the register you can simply use the move zx instruction if you want to copy the negative value into the register you can use the move sx instruction and move zx uh, stands for move with uh, zero extension and move sx stands for move with sign extension